Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In limits, continuity and differentiability, let us do the limits of inverse trigonometric functions. Look at this example. Prove that limit x tends 0 of sin inverse x over x equal to 1. Here, prove put x equal sin theta then we can say theta equal sin inverse x if x tends 0 then theta tends also 0 now we can write the limits one more time limit x tends 0 sin inverse x over x equal limit theta tends 0 sin inverse x is <coughs> theta over x is sin theta here limit theta tends 0 theta over sin theta is equal to 1 so therefore, we can write limit x tends 0 sin inverse x over x equal 1. We proved. One more thing. Example, prove that limit x tends 0 tan inverse x over x equal to 1. Here, we will do prove. Put x equal tan theta gives therefore theta equal tan inverse x if x tends 0 then theta tends also 0 because tan 0 0 now we'll write the limits limit x tends 0 tan inverse x over x we can write limit theta tan 0 tan inverse x is theta over tan theta now we know that limit theta tan 0 theta over tan theta equal to 1 therefore limit x tan 0 tan inverse x over x equal to 1 proved one more problem evaluate limit x tends 1 cos inverse x over square root of 1 minus x square here prove now put x equal cos theta which gives cos inverse x equal theta if if x tends 0 then theta tends also 0 because sorry if x tends 1 then theta tends theta tends 0 then we can write the limit limit x tends 1 cos inverse x over square root of 1 minus cos square x 1 minus x square equal limit x tends 1 cos inverse x is theta over square root of 1 minus cos square theta equal limit x tends 1 theta over square root of 1 minus cos square theta is sine theta x tends 1 the theta tends 0 here 
therefore theta tends 0 now we know that limit theta tends 0 of theta over sine theta equal 1 here when x tends 1 theta tends 0 therefore limit theta tends 0 theta over sine theta equal to 1 uh, then 